it's that time again. It is time to leave Walt Disney World and Orlando, Florida. Oh, can't believe it. Um, this trip has flown in, absolutely flown by. And today I'm about to fly again, <laughs> uh, fly up Poo Drogue, um, fly home. So today I fly with Virgin Atlantic again and I am going upper class again. So I'm being fancy again, uh, only because I put a bid in. So I put the lowest bid in possible on my uh, Virgin Atlantic uh, account before well, a few months ago basically, way before I left uh, to come here so and I got an email two days ago, I think it was, or a day ago saying that I was uh, successful in the bid and yeah, I'm, I've been upgraded, I was going to go premium and then I've been upgraded to upper class so who knows, I might utilise the bed this time because just now it's coming up for 11am I'm about to get kicked out of my room here at All Stars uh, Sports and my flight isn't till 9.50 or something like that tonight, 9pm, nearly 10pm tonight, so it's going to be a long, long day, so just now, it's not going to be a long, well, maybe a long vlog, you never know, um, but there will be like big gaps in this vlog, so just now it's 11am, I'm just going to go and chill, relax, maybe get something to eat, and uh, yeah, buy a few la last few minute things, uh, what not, souvenirs maybe, and uh, maybe walk around the resort, depending on how I feel. Uh, so it's going to be one of those things. Um, I'm getting the Mears Connect bus. That's taking me back to the resort. That's about four, half past four, four uh, p.m. And yeah, I'll get checked in and whatnot and uh, go to the airport and fly and all that stuff. So join me today, flying direct from Orlando back to Manchester. I've, I've booked a, a, the Ibis a budget hotel uh, back in Manchester airport to get some uh, rest if I couldn't rest flying over and then I'm back in the train back home uh, to, uh, the following day so yeah join me today in this travel day vlog leaving Florida leaving Orlando and uh, yeah so yeah let's, let's, let's see what happens hopefully it's a better travel day than coming here that was a long long day but let's go and have still a nice day nice relaxing day let's make the most of it um, yeah let's have a fun day final checks Completed. Oh, let's leave the room. Well, look at this for the breakfast of champions. I'm going out in style. I've got a chilly foot long for breakfast. I can't record too much just now because I'm having to carry push along the bags but I've got Fanta, orange Fanta and that's for breakfast and I need a knife and fork to eat this <laughs> well this is going to be interesting trying to eat this I'm going to have to chop it in half or sections there's a lot going on look at this I need to eat the sections. Oh. It's been a while since I had this. It's a proper breakfast. It's huge. Got chilies on it as well. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have to sit here for a while and just... That was a challenge. That will keep me going until I get to the lounge because they get lounge access, so I have, it was a long, long time ago, I paid extra to go to the lounge in Orlando Airport, I haven't been for a very long time, so I get lounge access with the upper class ticket. I've checked my flight time, which is, trying it out, so my flight time is actually 9pm, don't know why I thought it was 9.50, I do get picked up at the resort by Mears Connect, I've booked, paid for that separately, and takes me to the airport, we'll get checked in. So yeah, I'm just going to chill, I'm going to take it easy just now, got a few hours to spare, uh, not a lot to do, I don't, uh, I mean I could go to the shops as in like Target or Walmart or stuff like that, but I just, I'm ready to go home, ready to relax, ready to chill, take it easy, and then um, 
yeah, just, just go with the flow. I may go to the, the gift shop here and get a few things. I've had a look before, there's nothing really that I want just now, but I might have a look again and see if there's anything that I'd like. But just now I'm going to relax, chill. Uh, hopefully I'll not fall asleep. So I'm just taking a walk around the resort. Kind of, not the full resort. And because there's a storm due, possibly in rain, the pool is closed. This is the only time I've been able to record the pool when it's empty, so there you go. <laughs> the day that I'm leaving. I think the basketball area is my favourite area in this resort. Ah, that the American football. I don't know, it's all good. They're all really cool. They've all got their own little touches that I like. But yeah, I'm going to go chill for a bit and then wait for the bus. we go chill in the hotel lobby. buying something. I went into the store and bought this Disney bus in the transport and the cruise line bus to remind me of my Disney cruise on this trip and of course getting the buses. That was $15. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I'll probably never open it, probably keep it like that. Yeah, so that was different. I have seen something like that before but I've never been on a cruise before. So yeah you go. That's my memento, my reminder, amongst other things that I've got, that I've been on a cruise. So if you're like myself and you're getting the Mears Connect back to the airport, where the buses take you to the parks. Unfortunately, the bus also stops here to take you to the airport as well, just because the airport shuttle. So I believe this is where my Mears Connect comes to pick me up. It drops you off at the front of the lobby, but it takes, takes you to the airport from here. I believe that's what I've been told, so. And it's starting to rain. Yeah, so, yeah, not long now. I think I've got 10 minutes to wait until my bus arrives. So I've just been sent a text message while I'm sitting here. Don't worry, no panic, no, no delay so far. It just tracks where the driver is for the pickup for the Mears Connect, where he is just now. I don't know if that's where they are right now. No, it can't be. I don't know. But just a little tracker, anyway, and information as well about the bus. This is my little boarding pass with my QR code. I got this sent to me in an email. I've also just got it sent to me in a text message as well. So you just click the link and it opens it up. Okay, so it's showing the bus is nearby. It's there, which is probably close to All Stars, All Star Music, possibly. But so just I'm here right now. The blue. A pin. So yeah, it's not moving just now, so it must be picking up. That looks like it over there. Hopefully it makes a left. It comes and picks me up. <laughs> and we are on the bus. So oh, there we go. It's as simple as just uh, showing your QR code and he scans the QR code and confirms it to you. That's really it. I'm on board and leaving All Star Sports. I had a great stay at All Star Sports, so it's been a really good hotel, great experience, no issues, staff, everything. All good. But I'm leaving. We're making a stop into All Star Music. So, I don't know, I must have been the first pickup. There's no more. All Star Music that I stayed at last week. If you haven't watched the vlogs, but the guys stay here as well. Why All Star Music? Into All Star. 
are movies. And I haven't, I have not stayed at all star movies. See you one day, all star movies. I haven't seen you yet inside, but one day I will see you. Bye bye. Well, not bye bye. See you soon. See you one day. I've never seen Terminal C before, never used it. I think British Airways and JetBlue. I think Air Lingus stopped here as well. Next stop is myself. So, an hour and a half later, we just come into my terminal now. So, yeah, basically, because of the time it takes, uh, I don't know how much time I'm going to have in the lounge because my flight's at 9, 9 pm. I'm going to go straight to check in, say goodbye quickly to the, the fountain in the area in the Orlando airport inside it. Um, and then I'm going to go through security and then I'll catch up with you all then. So I just want to get in and through security and through the other side. Um, yeah, so I'll put some clips in just now in regards to like inside the airport and stuff like that. But yeah, I just want to get straight through because of the time and sit and relax in the lounge hopefully. security and I am through security about to get the last monorail of this trip and let's go to the lounge the gate link will be departing momentarily for gate 70 from 99 Orlando and Central Florida have so much to offer. There's a good chance you didn't see it at all. So please come back and visit us again very soon. It's Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. I hope you enjoyed your Orlando experience.
So I had to wait even to get in. So I only waited five minutes, but somebody had to come out the lounge for me to go in and not even checked in the lounge yet. It's not fun of games. It's very difficult to record in here. It's very, very busy. Um, but yeah, I've grabbed a few things. This is what I've ate. The chicken. The chicken was good. And now I've got some cheeses, and even some lemonade. The muffin. It is very, very busy in here. So, just for people's privacy, I don't want to point any cameras in their face. So I ended up getting a coffee, moving my seat and chair, well, moving to a new chair, new location. I can't really record too much, it's really busy in here. We're going to leave shortly anyway. You get a little view of the runway. Well, the gates. The runway is just there, you can see a plane landing there. So yeah, I'm going to go for a walk, get out of the lounge. It's nice, food was alright, food was good, but it's very, very busy. So I'm going to head out, maybe get some snacks for the plane. I'm going to take the stairs instead. Oh, fancy sign. Right. See, so when I came initially, they had a red barrier right there, and someone standing there, and I couldn't get in until someone left. But it is nice, I mean, it's, but it is just very, very busy, and about 45 minutes until my flight leaves apparently, so I'm going to go for a little walk around and grab some snacks. <laughs> I didn't think I'd forget, did you? I'm finally getting it. I'm getting the t-shirt. All these times I've been here and I haven't had my size. Twenty dollars. I'm getting it. Darth Gator. It's always me. It's always me. It seems to be quite common just now with delays, but it's a 40 minute delay until even boarding time, so we'll see how this goes. Make sure you have your passport and boarding card on hand so we all have a smooth boarding experience. We're getting on board. We're getting on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It wasn't a long wait. Five minutes. Eight. Premium. This is the new upper class. Oh, look at this. Travel over. Look at this. You can get privacy. <laughs> Not all the way right now. Just to be there. We'll get on our way to soon as we can. We'll get on our way to soon as we can. We'll get on our way to soon as we can. We'll get on our way to soon as we can. We'll get on our way to soon as we can. We'll get on our way to soon as we can. We'll get on our way to soon as we can. We'll get on our way to soon as we can. We'
Hello there. We're delighted to welcome you on board Virgin Atlantic. Thank you for flying with us today. You're no doubt keen to lose yourself in our dazzling world of entertainment. But first we're going to show you a safety film and we'd like you to give it your full attention. It's really important that you watch and understand it because together we're all responsible for safety on this flight. It helps explain the safety equipment and procedures of this particular aircraft and gives you an idea of what to do in an emergency. It's really important that your seatbelt is securely fastened. If it isn't, push the two ends together until they click, then tighten it by pulling the strap like this. In the upper class, seats are equipped with an additional shoulder harness that clips to the waist belt like this. You can open your seatbelt like this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll shortly be starting our Infira Entertainment System. This will be available until we arrive on stand in Manchester. Uh, open. There is cameras. There we go, the tail cam. Can't really see it because of the glare. There's the wheel. <laughs> Because I'm not a window seat, that's what I'm thinking. We could possibly watch this for takeoff. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are taking off in the hour of darkness, it is normal procedure to dim the cabin lights for takeoff. If you wish to use your reading light, you will find this in your handset. Thank you.
and I'm just going to scroll through and you can pause if you wish.
this time. And the breakfast has been served. I got a full English breakfast. same as the one that I got, I'm guessing it will open up in a minute, that I got travelling over here, so let's have a look inside, it'll open up. Yep, it's all the same things, eye masks, pens, toothbrush, toothpaste, socks, all the same stuff, well, pretty cool. Hot tunnel time. You don't think you need it? You do need it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So 
that I'm going to passport control. I will see you all once I get past passport control. So I am back in the UK. That was a quick turnaround, really good flight. I've got my bag already. Only took maybe half an hour to get through passport control, get the bag. I am now going to my hotel, I'm going to get extra rest and then head home tomorrow on the train. So let me show you, I'm going to go get checked in, hopefully get an early check-in. So let's head over to the Ibis Budget Hotel, where I've stayed before. Um, you just follow the, you come straight out of the terminal, just go straight to the doors uh, and follow the stickers, follow the signs for them. So I'll show you that just now and we'll head on over. You just keep following these signs. You'll see the Holiday Inn first, but if you keep aiming for the Holiday Inn, go around the side, to the left, and the Ibis budget is behind it. And just like that, I have arrived. So I have arrived early. I've stayed here before and they charged me £20 extra to check in really early. That was a good deal to be fair. So I'm going to go in and see if I can get the same deal and get checked in early. Well, 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 I managed to get early check-in. I also got some food from m &S at the airport because I'll probably end up falling asleep. Oh, I need to have my card, I think, first. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe I do. So, yeah, got some food because I'll fall asleep and wake up and then there'll be nowhere for food. Right, let's get to the room. That's a good start. Key card box. Let's get in the room. So I managed to get early check-in, it is, what time is it just now, I'm actually roasting, it's really warm, what time gone, where's my phone, two minutes, I'll be, I'll be right with you, it is coming up for, yeah, 12, 10 to 12, and it was £10 an hour extra to check in, so it was £30, so it's three hours early. So for me it's worth it. Yeah, I booked the Ibis budget because it's conveniently priced. It's right across from the terminal. It's, as you've seen there, walk right across. Get a sleep for today, tonight. Chill. Train back home uh, tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I am back in the UK. No longer in Orlando. No longer Walt well, Disney World. Yeah, it's been a fantastic trip. Put the lights on just now, key card in. So yeah, I had to cut that there because I just smacked my head off that. <laughs> so, it's been an amazing trip. It's been absolutely phenomenal, fantastic trip. So many highlights. If you've watched the vlog series, uh, two trips to Walt Disney World, doing the parks. A lot of things I've never done as well, which I understand, I know that. But, yeah, I'll get to it. I will definitely do it. So much many new things done. Disney Cruise, Clearwater, I, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, uh, things like that. So I wanted to do different things like that. That was the main things, not maybe different rides. If I could do the different rides, fair enough, I haven't done before. But I wanted to go and do actual uh, events and places. And that's, uh, that's what I've done. So it was absolutely fantastic. <sighs> I said it a million times, the Disney Cruise, I'm sold on the Disney Cruise, the Disney Wish, fantastic ship, what a ship, don't forget my stomach there, don't know why else, all I've done is eat, but yeah, that's it, it's, shoes are coming off, that's it, that's, that's the end of today's travel day, travel day, amazing, uh, slight delay, but that, that was, that was okay, that was fine, uh, it was still a quick trip over, back home, the staff are amazing, on Virgin of course, it doesn't matter, I've, I've done, 
economy, economy of delight. Uh, I've done premium before. Uh, I've done now the upper class. Staff are always fantastic on Virgin. Always a good service. The fight over was hard. The fight over was a five hour delay. And what kept me going was I was going to Disney World. I was going to Orlando. I was going to my favourite place. So that's that's, that's what mattered. And then, uh, yeah, that's what I looked forward to. But now I'm back home. I have so much more still to come, uh, so yeah, I'm not going to say too much, but hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on social media because I give a little clues sometimes as well of what I'm doing uh, and, and, and what not. It's my stomach again. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm tired now, uh, but I appreciate all your support. I've had a lot of comments and messages and um, new subscribers and everyone yeah, kind of following me on social media and stuff like that uh, recently whilst I've been on this trip so thank you all, I uh, really do appreciate it, it keeps me motivated uh, keep keep sharing, keep subscribing if you haven't subscribed uh, yeah, and I'll keep, uh, keeps me motivated to make the videos uh, so yeah, I'll keep doing that and um, yeah, thank you, thank you all for watching this video if you've watched all the way through and what's coming up very very soon uh, so yeah can't say too much i might give a few cl uh, clues away uh, on my social media so thank you all for watching all those last last series last videos and hope you're all well and i'll see you all in the next videos bye, -bye for now